the open marriage where your wife have multiple men, like a player with her bald head living out a thug life. So I'm bald, I'm a player, I'm spiritual, I'm the most masculine in the room. Who am I? If you thought Tupac, yes, you're right. You are correct. However, this time we're going to talk about Jada. Do you think Jada is channeling Tupac by being bald, being a player, being the most masculine in her house, being all spiritual, you know, this always on this journey you know we all heard about Tupac being alive but could it be possible that Tupac lived through Jada all this time have you noticed like we all know that Will Smith the Fresh Prince is an alpha male no questions asked if you look in the movie circuit he is one of the most sorted after actor he's a powerful man in his own right but for some reason Jada seems to be more masculine than than Will Smith is it that Jada is channeling Tupac. All this fun and joke aside. Now, Jada somehow seems confused. Maybe she's not. And if you read the Bible, we all heard of these women who are very, very cunning. You know, some of the queens are known for their cunning. And it's admirable. A woman needs to be cunning. We also know that the greatest among men are usually destroyed by a woman. That is the power of a woman. They are cunning and they can get inside of you. So while a man will have to fight and have this physical interaction, women get inside. They get inside your mind, your heart. They get inside your house. They get behind your fences. They get behind your defense. But being attacked from within, you stand no chance. No chance whatsoever. When we look at a Jada, I've seen where people are saying that Jada is actually the modern day jezebel no i wouldn't go that far to say that she's jezebel jezebel is to be admired but jezebel is not necessarily someone to be respected her ability to recognize a powerful man it, it need it must be admired also her ability to seduce and get behind their defenses isn't it need to be admired these are powerful traits it's just po it's powerful but destructive to a man now think about it tupac extremely powerful in his own right will smith extremely powerful in his own rights are these are two alpha among men she somehow got tupac to express his undying love for her and she got will smith to marry her now you can see where Tupac somehow before his death expressed his love for her. He said she, Jada Pinkett, Jada Pinkett is his heart in human form. However, he was engaged to be married to a completely different woman. Will Smith, however, married Jada. And again, Will Smith is an alpha among men at the time. Because now Jada is the alpha. Jada is the alpha. Hence, people are thinking that she's a Jezebel. I wouldn't go that far again, as I said. To each his own. A man should be able to resist. And if you acknowledge that you have a threat to your sanity, threat should be eliminated. It's as simple as that. Now, she was able to get her man, her alpha, to agree to a open marriage who does that benefit that's why i'm saying that she's the most masculine in the room men have an ability to tell women what they like to hear and convince them to do things vice versa but to be convinced to have your woman become another man woman and still you are exclusively her man explain to me how that how, that, how does that work she is our woman it's not your woman anymore. So that's why I'm saying she is the most masculine in the room. Tupac somehow was the most masculine in his room. So is Jada channeling Tupac? Is she a Jezebel spirit? A Jezebel spirit seek out powerful men and try to control them. When she successfully controls them, she uses them like a mic. She stay behind the scenes and she program her mic 
and her mic amplifies her voice. Imagine her husband is okay with an open marriage. Who's, who does it benefit? The open marriage where your wife have multiple men, like a player with her bald head, living out a thug life. I'm saying she just might be the Tupac that we, ha that we all have been looking for. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Rewrite the narrative.